Hi everyone, welcome. We're so excited to do some yoga sculpt with you today. We're going to be focusing on the root chakra and the sacral chakra, which if you're not familiar with what that actually means at all, um, I'll just put it into anatomy. We're going to focus on our legs and we're going to focus on our hip area today and our glutes. And we're going to do that also with the intention of really creating a sense of ground in our bodies, feeling safe in our bodies today, and just kind of lighting up that energy um, of stability and movement and dance and play all at the same time. So if you don't have weights, no big deal. Just maybe grab a couple cans of beans and soup if you've got anything that you could just use for a little bit of weight. And you don't even need weights. You could do index finger to thumb, and that creates about one and a half pounds in each hand. And also just make sure that you have a little water because we'll hydrate throughout um, our practice today. So I thought in honor of the root, we will start in a toe squat position. Oh, one more thing. Music is everything. We're going to need music. So if you go to Spotify, you can look up playlist on, under Lisa Destiny Serami. Serami is S-A-R-E-M-I. And the playlist you'll be looking for is yoga, I'm sorry, Sculpt um, Space 2. There's a lot of Sculpt playlists in there. Really, you could probably uh, grab any one of them and it would work. But Sculpt 2 is the one that we're going to be working with today. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to this. So toe squat is talking your toes and taking a seat on the heels. And for some of us, this might feel like a lot, so if it becomes too much, see if you can keep your toes tucked and lift the hips. But we're bringing the energy to the feet. Yeah, so just no music yet, eyes soften or close. And we just begin to notice. Side and then back towards the heels and over to the other side 
And as you come forward, you might drop the hips a little. Just big circles, creating space. From that root, we move into the energy of the sacral area, the pelvis. We need that mobility. Now let's just take this circle's opposite direction. So starting to move in the opposite way. What does it feel like to be in your body today? Exploring all the sensations from the crown to the feet. And then let's come to a neutral spine. From here, start to extend the right leg back as you soften the outer right hip. And as you point the foot, flex your toes so that you feel the energy through the ball of the foot. Start to pull the energy into the belly and as you root into the right palm, Extend the left leg forward. Feel the length that you are from the fingers to the toes and take a deep breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee, pressing through that right palm. Inhale, extending. Exhale, pulling it in. Let's go again. Inhale, you reach. Exhale, you contract. Just two more times. Feel the belly strong as you lengthen. Feel the compression as you bring it in. One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's reach it one more time. And then lower the palm, lower the knee. Wag your tail a little, release your lower spine. And then begin to ground into the right shin and start to extend the left leg back. Start to ground into the left palm and extend the right knee forward. Nice and long through the ball of your left foot and through the right fingers. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull it in, elbow to knee. Inhale, feel the extension as you reach. Exhale, pull it in, elbow to knee. We only have three more. Deep breath in, lengthening. Deep breath out, bringing it in. Two more. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, we bring it in. One more. Inhale, find that length. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, just reaching. And then exhale, lowering. Wagging your tail a little. Release your lower back. Beautiful. And then from here, let's root into your left palm. Sweep the right one up as you look towards the right thumb. And then take your right arm underneath the left armpit as the right cheek comes to the earth. Options to keep the left elbow bent, to extend the arm straight and long, or to maybe take a half line and reach for the top of your right thigh. Notice if your hips are going to the left, hug them in towards the right. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Slowly releasing the left palm down. Sweep the right one up. Look up. And release the right palm down. Left side. Inhale. Lengthen and reach. Exhale. Take the left arm under the right armpit. Cheek to the earth. Choosing with the right hand how you would like to explore the shape here. Hug the hips towards the left a little. We're here for three. Two, keep it conscious as you release the right palm down and you sweep the left arm up and you look and then you release. So from here, let's go ahead and tuck the toes and then hover the knees about an inch up off the earth. We're going to come into this floating cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round. If it becomes too much, drop your knees. Otherwise, keep the knees lifted. Ex inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. It's only three more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more. Feel yourself so strong. One more time. Neutral, downward dog. Take your hips high. 
pedal it out a little bit here. Bending one knee and then the other. Eventually you might start to find stillness. As you find the shape, you hug the triceps down at the head of the neck. Go. Feel the heart reach towards the top of your thighs. And soften your lower ribs as you soften your knees. Let the lower belly lift your tailbone a little higher. Take a deep breath in. And then let your heels soften with your exhale. Two more breaths right here. What does it feel like to be in your body today? Next, inhale, let us come up onto those toes, and then tiptoe straight legs all the way to the top of your mat, releasing the heels, soften your knees, and grab opposite elbows. Let the crown hang heavy and sweat. Let any tension, any concerns, any feelings that aren't serving you, just allow them to just simply fall off the crown and the shoulders and let Mother Earth receive them for you. Take a deep breath into the back of your heart. Exhale, get a little deeper with the crown. Release the fingers down to the earth. Bring your big toes to kiss. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Soften the knees, root it and rise. Inhale, feel yourself lift your energy, lift your frequency. And then ground it right into your heart space. Almost to heat. Inhale, sweep the energy up, lift up. Exhale, let's shine the heart. Once again, let your belly take you tall as you lift. And then let your heart be open as you fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant your palms, high plank as you exhale. So light up through your legs as your kneecaps lift. Offer the heart towards the front of your mat. Pull the belly towards the back of your spine. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And another inhale. Downward dog as you exhale. High plank as you inhale, ripple it forward. Downward dog as you exhale, take it back. We're just here for another eight. Coming forward into a high plank, taking it back into downward dog, using your breath for six, five. You only have four. Three. What a gift it is to feel strong today. One more. And just breathe in. And breathe out. What does it feel like to be in your body right now? Take another breath in. Downward dog. <laughs> Matthew wanted an extra chair. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and take an exhale to walk the hands back to the toes, to the back of your mouth. Beautiful. So I'm just going to turn this way. All right, so from here, take a halfway lift as you inhale, and then take a deep fold as you exhale. So from here, I'm going to take your toes out and your heels in towards each other so they're touching. And you're going to start to lift the heels, pressing them towards each other as you come onto the balls of your feet. Your hands are either on the earth or if you've got something underneath them to support them, um, like your weights or something, no big deal. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to drop the hips, lift the chin. Now inhale, we lift. Exhale, we bend. We lift and we bend. And we're just here for 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. Keep squeezing those heels in towards each other. You should feel it in your legs. You've only got 10, 9, 8. Take in all the sensations for 6. You only have 5. You can do anything for 4. 3, 2, last one, forward fold. 
Deep fold. Let the belly hang over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. High plank. Take it back. Now I want you to just come forward and back. Onto the toes and back. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. This time, take the shoulders over the wrists. Lower down halfway. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Out your mouth, let it go. What does it feel like to be in your body right now? Inhale onto the toes. Exhale, walk your hands back towards the toes. You're on your toes, the heels come in. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Here we go again, inhale, exhale, bend. We lift and we bend. Just breathing and moving, feeling the energy that you're building in the lower half, in the belly, in the hips, in the heart. You've never been closer. Ten, nine, eight. Welcome in those sensations. You've only got six. Five, four, three. What if you could? Last one. Forward fold. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Halfway lifted in. Walk it towards the top of your mat as you exhale, high plank. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead, tap your toes out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Okay. <laughs> so, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it this way. If you would like to put your knees down. <laughs> Eight. Yes, you can. 
Bend the front knee, top the back toe, lift the back leg. Vertical splits. Coming onto your fingertips or your weights or your blocks, whatever you got. Inhale. Let's take a little Shiva squat. Left knee behind the right calf. If you prefer knee to nose, you can. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we squat. Feel the energy of your root 
your foundation being strengthened, the color is red. It's everything of the earth. Just breathe into it. It's at the core of your bones. Can you feel it? You got seven, six, five, four. Yes, you can. Two. Last one. Now here's just an option for fun. Maybe you come flat on your palms, come onto the ball of your right foot, lift the left heel. You might pulse up and down. You might take a little baby hop. You might take a handstand hop. Let's do it for five, four, three, two. Last one. Find your journey to downward dog. Down and up. Breathe. What does the right side feel like? What does the left side feel like? Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Lift the left leg, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale. Lift it high, inhale. Bring it forward. It's that dynamic lift. I'm sorry. Lifting the right heel and the left. Lift your gaze. Pull it in. Look forward. Step it through. Onto your fingertips. Drop the hips. Lift the chin. Straighten front leg. Now we prepare the other side. Flossing our hips as we bend and we straighten. Feeling the stability and the mobility. Three, two, <laughs> one. Come back into your lunge. Now you're going to choose, just like you did last time, what's going to go in your hands, or your hands going to come to your heart. You choose. Feel the energy through the right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Tap. Back and up. We're just here for ten. Nine. Activating that left side. You have got only about six. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> yes, you can. Last one, which is always two with me if you notice. Vertical splits. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Knee to nose or Shiva squat, exhale. We lift. I'm still counting, don't you worry. No, you think I'm not. Let's do it together. Six. Five. Oh, that's not <laughs> I just had it out of order. I like to play those games with people. Vertical slip. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the knee in. Inhale, come up one legged to the awesome. Take a deep breath in. Step it back. Drop the back knee. Lift the chest, press the booty. Inhale. Exhale, vertical splits, lift the back. Deep breath in. Exhale, pull the knee in. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it back. Crescent moon. Inhale. Here we go, vertical splits. One legged, inhale. Crescent moon. Exhale. Lift the chest, inhale. Forward, exhale, vertical splits. One legged, inhale. Crescent moon, exhale. Lift the chest, last time through. Vertical splits. Take the right leg up, inhale. Crescent moon, exhale. Lift the chest. This time, frame your left leg into 
take your hips back. Flexing maybe your left toes and breathing here. What does your energy feel like from the hips all the way down? Next, inhale, let's bend that left knee. Tuck your right toe, lift the knee. Now from here, I want you to just step the back foot up to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, deep fold. So, we're going to take a break in a moment for a little water. But let's really earn that water, okay? So drop your hips. Take your fingers outside of your pinky toes. I mean, if not now, when would you do it anyway? We're going to come up, and we're going to come down. And some of us are just going to do this. Sorry, if I, yeah. And others are going to hop, right? You're going to choose what you want. We're just here for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Yes, you can. You only have 10. You can switch it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High on the pussy. Shine your heart. High on the pussy. Yeah. Shine your heart. Again, take it tall. Shine your heart. Lift it up. Release the arms. Interlace them behind you. Lift the chest. Forward fold. Let the fist fall. Soften your breath. Soften your knees. There you go. Release the hands. Halfway lift. Crouching curl. This is your official break. So we call this water break. Maybe you come into Malasana to take it. Maybe you come onto a seat. Lots of variations for water break. Hope you're feeling nice and warm. I love wet. water, that was awesome. <laughs> like we are over here. Cheers. Good stuff. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. 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 We're going to wash your drink it right now. Hopefully you have a towel. Apparently I need to bring one. I need either. Or you sure don't know how to do some sculpt, Lisa. You sure know how to, do some ah. <laughs> you sure know how to follow. Let's get it up. Stand up. Okay. Are you ready to have the best time ever? Let's take, I gotta move over a little bit here. Okay, you're gonna take your left foot forward and your right one back. And from here, I want you to feel like a little mount where you feel rooted through the ball of your foot and through the sole of the left foot, but you feel light at the same time. So start balancing, Selena. I can see you, you're not balancing. How are you not? You're not doing it. All right, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, anyway. <laughs> I'm doing it. Are you doing it out there? That's <laughs> Okay, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. So here's how it's gonna go. It's a super rooting into your left leg. We're gonna pull the knee in. We're gonna step it out. We're gonna drop into the hip. We're gonna pull it back in. We're gonna take it back, maybe bend the back knee. Up, to the side. Up, I'm back. So where are you grounding? You're grounding into your left leg. Thanks, Tara. Yeah. Magic. It really <laughs> is. Wow, well, that talent just magically appeared on me. We're so powerful because of all of this work. We say things and they just appear. Now, can you do it and get light? So you get into the beat with the music. Rooting into that left heel. Yeah, me and Selena have to be able to the right rhythm. We're going to fall into each other. Okay, now option. Bring your hands in. To get your arms involved. As the leg goes back, the right arm goes forward. As it goes out, 
It goes out. Forward, out. Now, as you're getting this, if you're somebody that prefers weight, place one in your hand and continue. Feels good to be alive, doesn't it? What if you just could pretend? Turn the palms towards your camera. We're going to lift 
and lower. Keep your hips low as you lift and you lower. Maybe a soft bend in the elbows if you need them. In five, the hips will come with us. Four, three, two, one. It's down, it's up, it's down, it's up. So good, you guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Feel the gift it is to be in this body right now for four, for three, for two. Last one. Get the hips low. Put your weights or your whatever you got on your hips. Deep breath in. Hips go a little lower. Now we're going to move the energy of the hips. So to the right, the left. Beautiful. We store so much right here. Sometimes it feels like we're not doing much. And sometimes some of you might be like, I beg to differ. It feels so, like a lot. It's so loud, it's starting to feel like. <laughs> so what an appropriate song. <laughs> Bubble Bug. <laughs> Hopefully you're with us on the playlist. All right. So from here, we're going to take the weights. We're gonna, I'm going to come sideways. This feels very vulnerable for me. Okay. You guys are going to just bring your weights down. Bring your weights down. From here, bend your knees. Stick your booty back. And you just bounce. Your hands can be on your anything or not. No big deal. But after a little while, is that YNG twerking? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's YNG, YNG twerking. YNG. Twerk, twerk, twerk. The twerk. <laughs> Get your arms involved. Yeah, have fun. The bubble butt song. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> this hurts. Just want you to know. If you're not doing it, you're just watching. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> Three. Two. And one. Take it up. Shake out your hips. Little figure eights. Step it in. All right. So from here, your feet are going to be about hip distance. Take your elbows into your ribs. Get low. Don't forget the root. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to tap in. So keep the bend in the left knee. Remember that lightness? Bring it in. It's kind of what we did earlier.
six, five, four, three, two, last one, which is two, and breathe. What did I forget? Yes. That's right. Duh. <laughs> Left foot. Give me those circles. I knew it was good. Something good I missed. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> this hip needs it. We stirred one pot, not the other. <laughs> We're stirred it for Or your margarita. For those of you that are older. <laughs> or your kombucha. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> Ten. Having fun. Eight. Six. Four. Two. One, breathe. Woo! Give somebody a how. Nice and done. Woo! Okay. Timekeeper. How much more time do these people have? You have 13 minutes. 13 minutes. We're not done with your group. <laughs> Come down. Down, down. All the way. Onto your backs. Bend your knees. Feet are about hip distance. Now you're going to choose with your body. Do you want these weights on your hips or not? From here, pressing into the feet, we're going to lift the hips. We're going to lower. It's a lift and a lower. No big deal. We're just squeezing and lowering. Wear these bad boys out a little bit, huh? Twenty, nineteen, eighteen. You're gonna hold and squeeze through, but there's still fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Think about those amazing glutes for this next seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now when you lift and you squeeze, lift it. Yes, you can. Ooh. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. I want you to feel it. Do you feel it? Yes, feel it. Squeeze tighter. Lift higher. Over to the right and left. Right and left. Smile. Makes it a little better, I promise. A little bit. Well, the thing is, is a smile brings in the fun. So, like, if you were at a club right now, and one of these songs were playing, and was watching, what would you be doing? I'm sure, you wouldn't be doing this, but you'd be doing something. So let's just pretend that's what we're doing. Just having fun. No big deal. Ten, nine, eight, seven, hit the beat, six, five, four. So now the hips are warm, the lower half is warm, three, two, you're ready for the real work, right? Lift the hips. Take the arms up. Root into your left foot, extend the right leg out, and up. We're going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. And every time I love this body so much, it's such a gift to work every part and every piece. Notice what are the parts, what are the pieces that you have to invite to this party? Do they have names? My left butt cheek's like, I'm definitely leading this party right now. I don't know about you. Seven. Six. Lisa, what would be a modification for this? Five. <laughs> don't lift your glutes. Just curious. Four. Get your glutes down. But you can do anything for three, Matthew. You're right. Two. Last one. Thank you for reminding me. Now lower. Take a pause. Say thank you to the left glute and any other part of you
you that's like, that really, really challenged me. And then let's move on to the other side. So lift the hips, extend through the left leg. The modification is to drop the hips if you need to. Arms down. I like it with my palms up. You choose. Up and down. I'm just working a different part of the arm if you switched it up. Notice how strong you are. As you press into the earth to lift, how she's there when you come back down. Doing so good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend the left knee. So, let's just give your chest just a little love. We have enough time, right? Yeah. Tell me when we're at five. Okay, so you're going to gold post the arms with your weights. And you're going to take your feet as wide as your mat this time. Working a different part of the glutes. We're going to lift. We're going to lower. If you'd like, you can also opt to flex the toes up. It's just a different part of the glutes. So, as you do it, just find the one that speaks to you. After all, it is your body. And you know what you need. Moving and breathing. You've only got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. Now on one, hold it up there. Turn the palms in towards each other, the fingernails towards each other. Keep the hips lifted. Soften your elbows. This time you're going to take it wide, lower, and lift. Wide, and lift. So if 
if you want to kind of fast forward your song to pushing on or magaper, they're the last two out of three songs. Just getting into the hips still and breathe. Now from here, go ahead and goal push your right arm. Grab your right ankle with your left hand and then drop the right foot to the earth and grab that ankle and press the right knee towards the top of your mat as you come into this little twist. Breathe. We're slowing it down. So just give yourself permission to slow the breath down. And to just witness all is moving through your temple right now. Wonderful. And from here, we'll go ahead and come back to center and release that leg. Pull the knee in this time. The right one as you extend the left one long. And then take the right leg up, either grabbing the back of your thigh, calf, ankle, or maybe you grab your foot. Soften the shoulders and just breathe into the back of your right leg. So from here, you can choose. Your knee might come bent. We're going to grab the big right toe. Or you might take the leg long. Left hand onto your hip. Allow the right leg to fall over. The intention is to get into the inner workings of the right legs. Just feel that. If I can't grab my foot, what can I grab the thigh? Yeah. Cool. You can, yeah, you don't have to grab your toe. You can grab your ankle, your calf, the back of your knee, even if you need. And then slowly, let's bring that right knee back in. Bring the left one to join and then just rock a little side to side. And then bring the right foot down to the earth as the left ankle comes over the right knee. Pull the right knee in, either back of thigh or front of shin, you choose. And then just breathe into the outer left hip and notice how this side may feel a little different than the other side. Notice if you're holding on in the jaw, see if you can soften that, or the shoulders, or the back of your throat, or your belly, anywhere you're holding on, see if you can start to soften it. And then we're going to start to take the right hand to the left ankle and take it over towards the right as you goal post the left arm, let your chin drop towards the left shoulder, and then pull the left knee towards the top of your mat. And you'll feel this in your outer left hip, should feel nice. Breathe. And we're going to slowly come back to center. And from here, extend maybe the right leg long, unless you're really tight and your hamstring on the left side. And we'll extend the left leg long. That's another modification, Matthew, as you can always keep the right knee bent. You can grab the back of the thigh, the back of the knee, the back of the calf, the back of the ankle. Sure. And then as we move into the inner left thigh, again, making any modifications that you might need, or maybe you're just grabbing the big toe, the right hand tries to help the right hip stay down. As the left leg falls open, maybe the knee is bent, that's okay. Maybe not. Just what do you need here? Breathe into the places where you feel the resistance and see if you can let the breath help soften those edges. One more breath right here. And we'll slowly bend that left knee. Bring both knees back into your chest one more time. And then from here, we're going to grab the outer edges of your feet and surrender the tailbone down as the chin softens towards the base of the skull and this happy baby. You choose if you want stillness or movement, if you want straight legs or bent knees, it's all your choice. And then slowly from here, we're going to bring those knees into the chest. Coming into a ball, grab opposite elbows and pull the forehead into the knee. Squeeze everything. So take a deep breath in and really squeeze everything in. 
I want you to hold it here. Let the tension rise. Sip it even a little more air. Even more. Keep going until you cannot hold the tension any longer. And then a big release into Shavasana. Legs out wide, arms out wide. Take up lots of space. Allow your bones to get heavy and allow your eyes to close. We'll come back to a little bit in the sound of the drum. Namaste. Namaste. 